So many of us are getting off of work and thinking about how long the day was and uh, just thinking about, you know, how to make it in life. And uh, what goals we have to achieve and what steps to take next. And you can't help but to reflect and honestly to just be thankful. To actually be thankful. I think it's more about changing the perspective before the circumstances change. You know, as you put in the long hours each day and continually every day. Pursuing making a living, providing for yourself and your family. As rough as it may get sometimes, you have to kind of reevaluate things and look at things through a different perspective. And what helps with that is looking at things through the perspective of grace. And really being thankful for what you do have and where you currently are in life now. Because honestly, there are plenty of people that will probably die to trade places with you. I mean, if you think about it from the perspective of at least you have a job to go to that in itself can probably challenge yourself to be more grateful for what you do have now this is not to say or negate the feelings of wanting more in life I mean, we all strive to have more and to make more and to achieve more. But in the midst of that striving for more, we have to learn to be thankful for where we are now and for what we have now. Because if you're not thankful for the little things, how do you think you will treat the big things? How do you think you will be blessed with the big things if you're not thankful for the little things? Because sometimes also it's a um, a matter of being more diligent with what you already have now. And I'm learning this too along the way and me and my colleagues have talked about this a lot. About learning to manage what we have now more wisely and being more productive with what we have now and being more wise making better decisions making more wise decisions um, being more um, financially savvy with what we have now and that way you position yourself to prosper later financially and position yourself to guard yourself from compounding the issues, the financial issues and it keeps you from digging deeper holes in your own life, especially financially because sometimes we can be so frustrated with our jobs, with our current state, with our current lives that we tend to try to spend more money on things to distract ourselves from that frustration and in essence what it does is it allows us to sabotage ourselves in our own lives by compounding the frustrations and compounding the financial pressures by overspending and we just continually overspend to get out of that feeling but if you, if we learn to just 
you know, endure for a while, endure for a few seasons, it might be a few years, but in that enduring, putting away a few books, uh, learning and reading and growing our knowledge of finances and learning what to do with the current income that we have in order to grow it and learn how to invest it. And that way, years from now, you'll find yourself waking up, scratching your head, and looking at your account, and wondering, how did I achieve this much? But it was just a few sets of small principles and disciplines to allow you to position yourself to be able to change your financial state. So just think about that for a while. I'm going to ponder on it too for a while. Have some more discussions with some of my colleagues and see how we can position ourselves with the current income we have now. And learn how to use it to grow it. To make better decisions with it. To position ourselves with it. And to make a better financial future with it. So just be grateful for what you have now and endure the season you're in now and then you'll be able to open your eyes to wisdom and decision making that allows you to come out of the season that you are now. Well, thanks again if you have any questions, any insight you would like to add just shoot us an email below and we look forward to hearing from you and we would love to share it with the world as well and help others along the way as we are learning you're learning we're all learning together trying to turn our common lives into extraordinary lives and helping common people do extraordinary things Take care. God bless. Look forward to hearing from you.